we're back on the zoo with Mr. Anthony Citra Campos from TV Lads, Lopez. Welcome, sir. Hi, Vivian, mira. I was telling him, welcome. I feel so safe next to him. I just want to be here all the time. I'm so little. Wait a we got to like, are you single or what? No, I You're got, not, got, I got, I got, got it. Oh, oh, I got my drawer here. Okay. I do it, I I like as your niece or something. Jose, como su hermanita, ¿qué te pasa? Let me start this off because I've been watching Lopez this season. Okay. They have totally amped up his role. Yeah, your character's what, like evolving. This one of the major subplots this season is him going back to school to get his GED. <laughs> By the way, first of all, it's really cool. And, and also, your character is so, like, gracioso <laughs> and, like, sympathetic and compassionate. Like, it com flies completely opposite <laughs> to the way you look. Right. You look like this big, mean, tough guy, and you're like this sweet teddy bear on the Aww. show. What do you want to have to be? There you, you know? go. Because, <laughs> I mean, George, George did hire me to be his bodyguard at the same time, so what do you want to have to be? What, you mean in real life? No, no, no on the show. On the show. Okay. <laughs> oh, OK. So, so what if, if I have to get crazy? <laughs> tell us about what's going on with your character in this season. Well, um, this season, you know, uh, is for, for those that have been watching, I, you know, I go back to school and get my GED because that's part of my conditional release, I end up in jail because I broke parole for George. Uh -oh. You know, being a real homeboy, you know? <laughs> so I end, up go I end up going back to jail, and, I, and uh, so part of my conditional release, I go to get my GED, and during the season, I'm getting bullied by a pregnant woman who's smoking a vape pen. <laughs> you know, so, you know, and, wow. you, know and, and that's, you know, that's the comedy part because people look at me like, I can't see this guy getting bullied, but I'm getting bullied. Oh. Yeah. You know, I was really talking about, you know, I guess, misconceptions of, of yourself. Um, I was really surprised to find out that you're also a big fan of, what, Michael Jackson and Yay. John Travolta. I just Travolta don't Travolta. imagine, yeah. Anthony, you dancing to <laughs> disco or pop music. Are you a big, uh, are you a big dancer at home? Nah, I, I, you know what, it's funny because I used to be a dancer back in the days. You know, I used to be, be on to break dancing oh, wow. and all that. Oh, work. And then, uh, I, I imagine know. that you were more a popper and locker than the guy yeah, that got on the floor, well, right? I was doing a little bit of both because I, 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 yeah, I was a lot lighter back oh, then, okay. you know? Now I, I might just break the floor, but yeah, More but <laughs> yeah exactly, exactly. There you go. Breaking the floor, literally. No. But now I just don't really do too much dancing. I'm just one of those guys that hold up the wall in the club and sh oh. you know, if I'm there. Do people are like, if you're, I don't know, walking and on the street, do they get scared of like the tough look that you have? And do you feel they that they fear yet. you a little, like and they don't out know on the me street? Yet. Yeah, some people if they don't know me yet, they'll look at me like. No, of course, if they don't know you, once they get to know you, they probably the love you that, right you away. You know, the people that yeah, recognize me from the show or something like that, they'll be like, hey, what's up, man? I love your character. I love, you know, you're doing great. So, you know, they, 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 they feel comfortable. But if somebody comes up to me, or I, if I come up to them, they don't know me, yeah, they get <laughs> they get a little bit scared sometimes because they don't know what I'm about to say or do. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever played the villain? Uh, like the yeah. bad, bad guy? Yeah, a few times. Yeah? yeah. Do you, what do you enjoy more, being the funny guy, the nice one, or do I you think, enjoy, what, what do you think is more fun? I think I like doing like what I'm doing right now with the, with the Manolo character, you know? Like, it's I, more like, relaxing. Yeah, it's more relaxing, it's chill, I ha I'm having a good time with it, you know? You didn't yeah. scare away yeah. your lady when you first met her? Uh, no, actually, you know, she gets mad when I do the face or when I'm funny. Wait, she wait, wants, what, she what wants face me. is that? Oh. <laughs> I love that face. That's she wa funny. She wants, me to, she wants me to always be the, the, the mean, tough guy look, oh. you know, serious look. Yeah. I mean, you can seriously be both. That's the sexy side of you she is the wants, mean look. Is it because she wants to feel protected when she's out on the streets with you? Exactly. I'm sure she feels... I was saying, like, I would feel protected all the time right. if I was next to you, so your girlfriend is probably always feeling super safe, which is a good thing. By the way, you used to be here when we had the LATV hip-hop show. Yeah. They, were you a regular on the show or, or a guest? Well, I was, uh, I was uh, one of the co-hosts. Wow. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, so I worked here at Alley TV for like five years. That's amazing, man. Welcome yeah, back yeah. home. Welcome uh, back. You're back. That's how I was like, coming back. You know, I love it. Wait, what was it like back then? It was, I mean, it was pretty much the same vibe like this, you know? Everybody having a good time and just doing their, doing their shows, you know? It was like a, a roster of different shows, but every, you know, like once in a while, I would come in and hang out and, and watch other people's shows, like, you know, mm -hmm. like, come in and watch Alley TV Live, you know, and, wow. and just hang out and chill and have, and have a good that time. That was actually my first job. Was LATV it? Right before mm -hmm. LATV Live was canceled. Oh. They hired me, and then the whole sh went kaputz. Oh. <laughs> so, listen, going back to the Lopez, because I've just been, you know, I, I wasn't really a big fan of, like, you know, the, the triple camera, you know, kind of yeah. uh, uh, shows, and the, his first show was very that typical kind of sitcom. Yeah. I don't think it really showed who George Lopez really was the way this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This show is really funny. It's yeah. well written. You guys are, are handling a whole bunch of, like, social topics in a very cool <laughs> way. We also had Ray Diaz. 
Right. Uh, who is oh, yeah. your yeah, friend please. from jail on show? We had him. Yeah, we had him on the zoo a couple <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> what, is, what is that like? How is he on set? And how do you guys? Because you guys look like two completely oh, different yeah. people. <laughs> but you guys are like best friends on the show. Yeah. You're like kind of like taking him I under mean, your when, wing. When we're on uh, on set, I mean, it's pretty much we're, we're like the same way. We're the same way it comes across the screen. We're the same way on set. You know, yeah. just hanging out, having a good time. And then you know, he's really big on social media. Yes. So he'll be on his social media. And he'll be like putting me on and. We'd just be clowning around and stuff like that. You know? uh, Anthony, who dropped the bar of soap in the shower? It wasn't me, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> that is ready to step in. He's like, if you need someone to drop the Somebody soap, take me to jail, please. 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 Like, give, me a, give me a stand in position. That is fine. If, if your dating life goes stale for a few months, okay. go commit a crime, get sent to jail, right? I don't think I would survive. Do you see this? Like, I, look too I look like I could be eating up and, and that, you'd be a lot of. You most surely enjoy anything. I might enjoy it. You'd be the, the victim of a lot of fantasies. Yeah, that, sure. that's very true. Um, Anthony, you're also working on some music, is that correct? Yeah, we're doing, uh, we're doing, because I have a group called Pueblo Cafe, which is also has a, a, one of the songs that's featured on, on, on this season. Well, we had a bunch of songs that were featured last season, but this song, uh, especially, uh, we're, we're doing like a little rap scene that they threw me in. They're just like doing like, like it's an open mic night. So they actually use one of our songs. So we, and we have a video coming out too, for it too as well. Nice. It's called uh, Toda la Noche. We can have a total on our Just partying all night, is it? Oh, okay. Partying all night. Clarifying things, okay? Oh, yeah, what, what is your background, though? As far as music or just. No, as general? far as, as ethnicity. Oh, uh, Mexicano. Ah, Mexicano, I can tell you. But born here. 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 Vale, podemos hablar en español, Humberto ni nos sí. entiende. No, yo entiendo español. <laughs> yo entiendo español <laughs> muy bien. A huevo. A huevo. Is that is that the people saying in Nayarit in that area? Yeah. I can say this. No. Oh. Esas son muy malas palabras. Is that Brito? I can Brito ahora.